episode of Geriatric Moms. Geriatric Moms. Which one of yeah. you? Which one of you can eat your veggie finger first? Uh, I don't want to win. I hate winning. Jin Jin, welcome to Geriatric Mum. Today we are discussing life hacks or mum hacks. There are lots of them online, and some of them are good. Most of them are rubbish. My first one, if your child is a fussy eater and you can't get them to eat certain things like vegetables or sausages, cover them in hundreds and thousands. How? Like how would you get the hundreds and thousands this? to stick in there? I've got to show a picture. This is from lifehack.org and it's a fucking piece of broccoli covered in... Excuse my French. In hundreds and thousands. Yeah, but how would they even stick in it? Probably no. honey or sugar or butter or something. No, absolutely, I do not agree with this. This is rubbish. Nonsense. Cut down the time you spend zipping and buttoning kids' coats by buying ponchos instead. <laughs> well, I mean, how much time do you spend buttoning their coats? And also, ponchos are not very practical in the winter, are they? No. <laughs> you get cold. And also, I think the children would be like, what the hell is with all these ponchos? <laughs> so we're gonna say no. So this one actually I really like. Yeah. Like when Noah was little, he would not let me uh, leave the room. Yeah. But it's this whole thing, you have a rubber glove and you put like beads or stuff in it and then you put the, so it's heavy and then you put it on, on their back so they think that you're still there. I wish I'd I known think, that. I think he would know the difference though, right? <laughs> he probably wouldn't at that age, he probably wouldn't have. Okay, <laughs> I think that's a bit of nonsense. Mommy. Yes. Mommy. Yes. This is what you hear a lot in these kind of uh, parents hack things. Um, make something a race. Make it a race that who eats their food quicker. Make it a race who tidies the room quicker. Put a timer on and they just speed up and do it all. It does not work. Hey, I've got an idea. Which one of you, which one of you can eat your veggie finger first? Uh, I don't want to win. I hate winning. Me too. Uh, there's, there's a mum who says that to get, make sure that you don't lose the little Barbie shoes. She sh super glues the shoes on, on Barbie's ah. feet. And I'm thinking of doing the same with Lego. But then you can't change them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> definitely, definitely. But isn't the whole point of Barbie is that you dress her in, in different outfits? Yeah, but then if the kids can get the shoes out, they will stack them up their noses and ears and all that, and they get mm. lost. And... No. Another um, hack. The five second rule. It's bullshit. I mean, it doesn't matter how long or yeah. little time food or spoon or dummy or something touches the ground. The bacteria is either there or it's not. Yeah. It's crap. You know, I don't, I'm hoping that nobody actually believes in that and that is like a real thing. Hopefully not. Okay, so my next one comes from, this is an Instagram star actually called Unfiltered Mama. Okay. Mum hack. When your kids don't finish their lemonade, make margaritas. Ah, yeah, I like yeah, the sound of that. Yeah, we like the sound of that, but then we... I mean, we don't give lemonade to the children. We don't give lemonade to children, <laughs> But so. we could just make margaritas anyway. Yeah. This one I love. Parenting hack. Wine. You're our kind of girl. <laughs> Get in touch. Let's go out. If, if you're teaching little boys to pee in a, in a toilet, ah. to put a ping pong ball there, do you know what? That is actually um, one of those behaviour economics nudge things. Have you tried it? Doesn't it? just work for little boys. It works for all boys. In Amsterdam, they did this in public toilets. They drew a little fly onto the system and cut down the spills. Yeah, spills but, by seven percent. But you, with the ping pong ball, like what you just fishing out this like shitty ball? No, or just leave it in there. It's just there. covered in poo. Like it's just no, but it's it surely gets washed. Oh, it's gross. It is gross. Just draw a little fly on the side. Yeah, I think that's better. <laughs> that was a fly. Uh, this is from um, 
a Robert Nob, 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 sorry, uh, <laughs> at Father with Twins. Weekend parenting hack. One, tell your kids to stay in bed until a certain time. Two, set the clock back an hour. Three, enjoy an extra hour of sleep. Dear Mr. Rob Robert Nob, have you got children? <laughs> Let's see if they care what time it is. Okay, so this one I thought was absolutely amazing. Place tape over the speakers of your t kids' toys to make them quieter. Oh. Sell a tape, I think. On top of the Yeah, the speakers on, the, on the, of the volume of the, of the, you know, where the little holes are, where the, all right, the awful sound yeah. comes out of. I think, I'm going to try this. I think this is amazing. Yeah, this is something that's actually good, which I haven't heard. It's basically, if they bump their head or whatever, you should put butter on it. And apparently that stops uh, swelling and bruising or like makes it less. And this is like a scientific fact. I, I googled it all over the place and it's something to do with the butter having loads of phosphate, which is kind of slowing down the, the bruising on the, on the top of the skin. So that's actually a practical one. So basically if somebody punches you in the face, you should put butter on it. Next time we go and have Botox. <laughs> butter! <laughs> but at the same time, you know, the most thing that they bump is their head. Yeah. I don't want to have a hair full of butter. I'd rather have a little bump. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's gonna mm, Yeah. So when you've got ice lolly or ice cream and it's all melting and you can stick a cup cupcake case underneath. Ah! That was one of mine as well. Was it? And we but, tried it. Yeah. Oh, you and the boys. Fabulous. Yeah. But did you know this? They actually works with a piece of cucumber as well. You could just have a circle of cucumber underneath the lollipop and then that oh. would... Oh. Uh... I don't know. I'm not sure it would work. Because the cucumber is not... Like, it depends how big the cucumber is. Yeah. Isn't it just going to kind of come from this... Well, this is what the tinternet says anyway. anyway watch out how we get along with this trick with boys which one's mine whatever you want there you go one of these cakes thing so your fingers won't get messy ah. but there's a cold that it could go through on mine that's true <laughs> don't eat the paper silly oh no it's ripped now is it <laughs> do you want <coughs> Maybe it's not such a good hack after all. all. Right, this is a ridiculous one. Basically, it's saying like you know, you know how in like supermarkets they often have those little machines you put money on them and they're like a little car or something. Mm. So basically, the idea is like you know how to get in and out of the shop without you know the kid demanding to go into one of those devices is that you carry around um, out of order sign with you. <laughs> Because kids are gonna, that's gonna really make a difference, isn't well, it? Well, the, the thing is, it's like, a bit like only fools and horses. And it's also like, you know, usually the kids don't know how to read at that time. Like, what's the point? Just tell them that it's out of order. Yeah. That's what we do. That's like, what you know, we, do. we don't want to go to sea life since we just tell them that the fish Christ. are asleep. It's like carry around out of order sign. This is the most ridiculous thing. Boo, boo. Our motto in our house is the milk will spill <laughs> and then we will, you know, it's no point crying because it will spill but you could just put cling film over the cup and then just put a obviously biodegradable straw through the cling film oh. to avoid spills. Or you could just use one of those baby cups. Beakers, yeah, okay, fair <laughs> enough. Now this one is, is from an American site and it says that you can make a terrific diaper caddy out of a wine carrier well i think oh. we could make a terrific uh, wine caddy out of a diaper carrier what's a diaper carrier i don't know i, I think <laughs> it's one of them bags <laughs> i assume it's some one of those things that are completely pointless what the hell's a diaper carrier is it like a bag i think it's one of those things where you've got the wet wipes and and the nappies and so bag wine <laughs> So if you've got, like, see, this is a problem at home and we're going to try this. Noah refuses to have his medicine. Yeah. So have a lollipop and dip it into the medicine. Ah. But you have to dip it quite a few times. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, still. Yeah, okay. I bet that would work. So Noah's been unwell. 
he puked in his bed mm. Mm. so he couldn't stay in his bed so he had to come to my bed paul went downstairs to sleep on the sofa lucky thing and i was stuck in bed with noah and he falls out of the bed like the whole all the time so i can't sleep because i'm either holding on to him <laughs> this is where i need the rubber glove uh, or or he's on me and i can't sleep because i can't breathe but i saw this mum hack online where you have a, a pool noodle you know those spongy oh, yeah, long yeah, yeah. things from the swimming pool yes. yeah and you put that under the fitted sheet so it kind of creates a little oh, bit of a oh yeah here comes the glue again bath toys We've got... Glue them on the bar? <laughs> no, no, no. Glue the little hole. Why do they have to have a hole? Oh, the toys. And these oh, always... Yeah, because they get and... mouldy inside. First of all, I mean, the company stopped putting holes in bath toys. Thank I you very much. I think that's just how the, the plastic is moulded. Yeah, well, just put some super glue, super glue into that little hole. Yeah. And then you don't get mouldy toys. So yeah. I think that's my best one, probably. Okay, cool. <laughs> mum fail as such it's just a general fail the fact that I started my two teeth bleaching regime yesterday and I'm drinking red wine <laughs> so it's probably gonna stain even more than usual yeah <laughs> it's Oops. definitely a fail so um you know you have a in, a in a toilet you have the brush for you know cleaning the toilet bowl so obviously me has seen us using it and how he's um how he's um taking it is that you know when you have a poo you <gasps> brush it <laughs> so i was like why is our toilet brush always covered in shit <laughs> and it's been because he's been bless him trying to save the town yeah but poo paper. so but he was like obviously he was trying to be helpful so i was like you know mia can we have a little chat <laughs> And I was like, you know, you need, need to flush it and then you can kind of empty toilet bowl, you can brush, oh. use the brush and you're like, all right then. Oh. <laughs> anyway, let us know your hacks and come back next week for another episode of Geriatric Moms. <laughs>